Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, I will make DD gear in AutoCAD. Basically, I take this picture from Check website where this figure was posted in the question. So, I take this figure that helps students to learn fast, accurate, and effective drawing in AutoCAD. Let's start. So, first, I will make the addendum circle of the gear. Radius is given 1.67. Then, I draw the pitch circle. Radius is given 1.52. Then, I draw the addendum circle of the gear. Radius is given 1.29. Let's draw these three circles. Enter C for circle from the keyboard. Click and enter radius 1.67. Now again C enter for circle. Specify same center point for circle and enter radius 1.52. Now again enter C for circle and again specify same center point for circle. Enter radius 1.29. So this is the addendum circle, this one is pitch circle and this is addendum circle of the gear. Now I will make tooth of the gear. So for tooth all the dimensions are given. For tooth thickness the angle is given 9 degree and for tooth arc this arc. The radius is given over here 0 0.4. This arc radius is given 0 0.4 and the top length thickness is also given this thickness. Top length thickness is also given 0 0.09. So first I will make a horizontal line, then I will make this upward line. So if we divide 9 degree by 2, it becomes 4.5. It means that the degree between this line, upward line, inclined upward line, and this horizontal line, 4.5 degree. So let's make these two lines, then you will understand. Enter L for line from the keyboard and make a line from the center point, a horizontal line of any length. Click and escape. Again, enter L from the keyboard for line and click on this point and now enter 2.5 length or more but make sure that this line crosses these three circles now press tab for degree press tab and enter degree 4.5 degree enter so the degree between this line and this line is 4.5 which is according to the dimension now if we see the top land thickness is 0 0.09 if we divide 0 0.09 it becomes 0 0.045 so i will make a horizontal line from this line upward about 0 0.045 let's draw it then you will understand so enter o for offset enter offset distance 0 0.045 enter then click on this line and click above press escape I will, ma I will make the tooth arc. So the tooth arc radius is also given which is 0 0.4. Let's make it. So click on arc arrow then click on start in radius because I will make this type of arc start in radius. Click on this one. So this is the start point and this is the end point and enter radius 0 0.4. Enter. Now I will erase the extra lines like this and these two circles and erase it now i will make this fillet so the fillet is given over here 0 0.06 this fillet is given 0 0.06 let's make it enter f from the keyboard for fillet then click on radius enter 0 0.06 mm fillet radius click on this circle and click on this arc now i will join this arc with this line so enter L from the keyboard for line and click on this one and make make it join straight perpendicular click and escape now I will mirror this portion to make the other side of the tooth so first select this portion select this arc and press MI from the keyboard for mirror and now click on this point and click on this point click on now so this tooth is exactly made according to the given dimension so now I will erase this line. Now if we see this gear, so there are 18 teeth in this gear. So let's make 18 teeth. First select this tooth and then enter AR from the keyboard for array. Enter, then click on polar array. Then specify center point of this circle. And now click on this uh, 6 and enter here 18 teeth. Enter press escape so this gear is exactly made according to this dimension now enter tr from the keyboard double enter and trim the extra portions
escape now i will make this circle this circle and this circle so the dimension is given the dimension of this circle is given over here which is diameter 2 and the diameter of this one is also given 1 mm diameter and 0 0.5 let's draw these three circles so click on circle arrow click on center diameter and from here make a circle of 2 mm diameter again click on center arrow center diameter now make a circle of 1 mm diameter again click and make a circle of 0.5 mm diameter now I will make this key so the key dimension is also given this distance is given 0.12 and this distance is also given 0 0.06 uh, let's write then you will understand so L for line first I will draw a line from the center then escape now I will offset it so enter O for offset and if we see this total distance is this total distance is 0 0.12 if we divide 0 0.12 by 2 it becomes 0 0.06 so let's offset it by 0 0.06 mm distance click on this side and now press escape now tr double enter and click on this side press escape and erase this line now from this point i will enter the distance which is given 0 0.06 for accuracy I follow this procedure to make the this keyway in proper and full accurate dimension so I'll enter from the keyboard now click on this point and enter upward distance 0 0.06 enter then towards the horizontal side enter distance 0 0.12 enter then downward distance again enter 0 0.06 and press escape now select this line and erase it now enter uh, TR from the keyboard, double enter and enter uh, trim this portion. So this keyway is exactly made according to the given dimension. Now I will convert it 3D. So for 3D this sectional view is given, the principal distance is given over here, this distance is 1mm given over here and up to this point the middle portion distance is also given 0 0.25 from this line and 0 0.25 from this line which becomes 0 0.5 let's draw it then you will understand and we will also fill it this edges then you will understand let's uh, make it so first click on 2d by frame then click on realistic then click on top view and click on sw asymmetric then click on press pole click here and enter above distance 1 press pull distance enter and now if we see here so 0 0.25 from this side and 0 0.25 from this side so this distance becomes this distance becomes 0 0.5 so we will enter 0 0.5 mm press pull towards here first you will orbit it to see clearly press escape now click here and enter upward distance 0 0.5 enter and this distance is again 1 mm this distance this distance if you see here so this is again 1 mm press pull so again click here and enter 1 mm again above now select this portion and press M for move now move this object first I will orbit to see the center point escape then click on this center point and move upward make sure that you move it upward escape upward in the z direction enter distance 0 0.25 enter so first off this grid mode off then i will orbit it to see clearly uh, click on this arrow and click on free orbit now i will orbit it to see clearly so this portion is in the middle if we see from this point and from this point so it is in the middle now please escape and select first uh, click on union then select this portion and press enter now click on this and 3d solid now click on this portion and move towards this side and escape now erase this 2d sketch erased it and now we will apply fillet so for the fillet the fillet radius is uh, given if we see here so the fillet radius is 0 0.13 now click on solid now click on fillet edge and select this fillet edge 
uh, first click on radius then enter radius 0 0.13 enter and then click on this edge and click on this edge then orbit it to select the other side of the edges escape now select this edge and select this edge and press enter again enter so now click on home and this gear is exactly made according to the required dimension that are given